Today we're learning how we can make this green environment inspired presentation all the way from scratch in Canva, including the five slides that you'll see on the screen that are fit for different purposes to convey your message of corporate social responsibility. Let's start from the homepage in Canva and we're going to the presentation step and click on create a blank presentation. This gives us a white canvas to start from. First thing we want to do is we want to click on the canvas and go to the background color. And here we want to select one of the linear gradients that is available. We want to modify this linear gradient. So for that, we're going to click on the background color again. This opens up the linear gradient and here we can modify the colors. The gray is a little bit too dark. So we click on the dark gray and we're going to reduce the intensity a little bit. We also want the gradient to be circular and preferably the light to be in the middle. So we're going to drag the dark color to the right and this way it shifts around. So we have the lighter spot in the middle and it gradually gets darker towards the edges. Now we want to add the green letters. So for that we go to the elements tab and here we type in grass letters. This gives us some graphics where we can click on see all and here we can select a bunch of the green letters that are available. We want to select the G. We want to look for the other letters as well. E and the N. Make sure you select the right ones. This one is a little bit different than the one we selected. So we want to choose them from the same font family or to at least the same look and feel. So here you see the two E's next to each other. We want the one with the longer grass. And then the R. And this way we have all of them. Select them all and hold the corner angle to reduce the size. Position them somewhere in the middle and now we're going to drag them out. If you hold shift, you can move everything on a straight line and of course put them in the right order and then hold option shift and drag to create a copy if you're working on a Mac. Now let's position them so they all have the same bottom line and then give them and then place them next to each other. We want to have the G in front and the R behind. So for that, we select the R position and we send it to back. This way, the G comes in front. The R can be a little bit smaller. That's an optical. There we go. We want to do the same for the E. So position send to back, second E, send to back again. And then the N, we also want to send it to the back. Now you can select everything and you group them together. And this way you can easily move them at once. Position them in the center of the slide and then hold shift and drag it slightly higher because we want to give it a subtitle. For the subtitle, we're going to the text tab and go for title. And here we can type in anything we want. For example, environment. Increase the size, hold option and shift if you're working on a Mac and drag the edges to scale it from the center. And we want to make it a little bit more transparent. That way it's less harsh and the contrast is a lot less. Reduce the size and then position it below the letters. This gives us quite a nice opening slide for the green style of presentation. Now let's move on to the next slide. And for that, we're going to create a copy. If you have your slides at the bottom, you can either right click duplicate. If you don't have this bar, this is probably hidden with the arrow. You can also click on the duplicate page here at the top. We don't need these anymore. So we're going to remove that and we're going to look for two other green letters. In our case, the O and the C. You can also filter them down further by typing in C. And there you have it, C O, make it a bit smaller. And then we probably also want the number two. Let's see if we can find it this way. Grass number two. This is a other color. You can see it's a little bit different. Sometimes you have to look for the, for the right number. I think this one we can actually get it right if we go to the edit photo and then play around with the filters. Maybe we can make it a little bit lighter and then play around with the settings. Close the filters and now we're going to look for the duotone and let's see if we can find something brighter here where we go for a style somewhere in between. Reduce the intensity. Let's make the shadows more green and same for the highlights. Let's give it the same color of green, make it very bright. And this already looks quite close to the result that we want. You can increase or decrease it more if you want until you're happy with the result, of course. That looks quite right. We're going to make this smaller anyways to have the CO2. And then select everything at once, group them together 
and this way you can scale it up and down as you like. We're going to position it in the middle of the slide and have a slight spillover on the edges because we don't mind that the C is partially off the slide. That's going to add for the style element. And we want to add a title. And for that, let's add some dummy text. Lorem ipsum, increase the size. Let's also add a copy, reduce the size. And we're going to change the font from Montserrat Extra Bold. We're going to make the subtitle, let's go for medium. Let's type in some more text, dollar, and reduce the font size. Now let's add some dubby text as a paragraph. And for that, there's this nice plugin with lorem ipsum. If you click on it, you can add the amount of words that you want. Let's try 45. And then you can just generate lorem ipsum text. This way you don't have to copy paste it. That's pretty easy if you want to make some mockups or test designs to see what the slide will look like. Position everything to the right. And this way we have quite a nice slide to work with. If you want, you can easily multiply the text and then shift it so everything looks nicely balanced on your slide. Now let's go for the next one. We're going to duplicate the page again. Let's remove all the content because we don't need it. Go to elements and let's look for a circle. We're going for the circle shape because that's the one we can easily modify with the colors. And we want to make this white entirely. Let's make it a little bit larger. And we also want to give this circle a shadow. So we go to elements again and type in shadow. Here we can click on see all and add some of the existing shadows that are available. Put it on top of your circle, position center back, and then let's center everything in the middle. Right click group, and then let's copy this one in the middle of the slide and the other one at equal spacing. So all three are equally spaced. Let's look for some elements and we're going for grass, grass letter A. Let's add an A. Let's also do a B. And for the sake of having three, let's do three. C. Let's reduce the sizes so they're the same. Select them all. And then make them a bit smaller so they will fit in these circles. Grab the A, place it in the center. Do the same for B and do the same for C. If it's too big, you can always reduce the size until you are happy with the results. Just make sure that you center them nicely in the middle again. Now let's add some text below those circles. For that, I'm going to copy a bit of the text from the previous slide, select everything, position it up just a little bit, and then let's add a title. Doesn't have to be that large. Let's center it in the middle and then below the circle. We don't need this much text, so I'm going to delete a part of it and then modify the handles so everything fits below the circle. Position it in the middle. Maybe let's change this font to something more of a title. Let's try extra bold. Copy them below all the circles. You can control C, control V, or use the option shift drag if you're working on a Mac. And then position everything until you are happy with the result. If you want, you can shift it to the bottom and add a title on top. Let's do that. Increase the size. There we go. And this way you have a nice title of your slide. Now let's create one more variation of this type of content. Duplicate the page, remove everything. Let's type in grass font percentage. And this way we can find a nice percentage in the same font. Scale it down and we're going to add two text boxes. So copy it from the previous slide. Put one on the right. Let's increase the size and let's give this text box some extra dummy text. That's more realistic to work with. You can choose how you want the alignment. Let's in this, this case do like a justify on both sides. Copy both, position them so you have equal spacing on the left, on the right and the left. Copy everything to the other side. And this already gives you quite a balanced look of the slide. Let's copy the title. And that gives you a different style. So if you want to compare two parts or percentages, this is a nice way of visualizing it. Now let's add a closing slide to the presentation. For that, let's add a page. And in this case, we want a image. Let's try a green factory, see what we find in the library, go to photos, and then we can choose one of the pictures that we like. I like the first one. Let's increase the size so it fits the entire slide and position it so everything looks good. Now what we want to do is we want to add some animations to the slides. We've created a five page slide deck. 
For that, we open the menu in the bottom or the pages in the bottom. And we can select one of the pages, click on three dots and add transition. This will open up the transition panel in Canva. And here you can choose whichever one you like. For the first ones, I kind of like the flow transition. If you click it, you can decrease or increase the size. For the flow, I kind of like it if it's a little bit slower. So we're going to apply that to the first one. And for the second one, I don't think we need the flow transition, but we could use one of the slide transitions. And here we also want to increase the size to, let's say a second and a half, that way it's not too hard on the ice and it's easier to follow. If you want to apply this same transition, you can just apply it, select multiple slides, apply it, increase the duration, let's say 1.5 seconds, all from the same angle. You can choose it if you want, that doesn't really matter. And maybe the last one, this transition, we could add a flow again. That gives a nice opening and closing of our slide. Let's put this on 1.7. Now let's preview what we have. And now you know how to make this nice green environment presentation all the way from scratch in Canva using the library that is available. And you'll have different slides to show your subject all relating to green environment or corporate sustainable responsibility. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.